All right. And the first one I'm going to do is I'll have um, Isaiah do this one is, uh, you know, they have several guys. Obviously, you know, growing up, it, it used, I always heard it was the Iowa style or the Oklahoma State style. And the thing, the difference is, is the Iowa style, you know, is putting pressure forward. The Oklahoma State style is moving your feet from the outside. And really, it doesn't matter uh, which, what, you know, what style you prefer as long as you understand movement. Now, movement, if you're, for instance, the Oklahoma State style, excuse me, movement, for instance, the Oklahoma State style, people think, you know, it's just faking in and out, all right? Or the Iowa style, they think it's, you know, hands down and people are, you know, walking forward. No matter what style you wrestle, when you move, you're always circling, all right? You're always circling, and as you circle, you're cutting off. You're cutting off your opponent, um, or if you're moving backwards still, you're circling, but you're, you're kind of baiting a guy into the position. And that's the first one what we're going to do is we're actually going to go over uh, two different ways of getting to an underhook um, from the outside. Now the thing is, is you're originally trying to get to your single leg, all right, your high single leg or your snatch single, and then the way that they react, all right, is going to, get, is going to put you in that underhook position. And I, this is one of my favorite um, you know, ways of getting to the underhook because I'm a firm, firm believer in making a guy react, and if you have a, a big skill set, if you can make a guy react constantly, it's going to open up different ties and it's obviously going to open up different positions for you, whether it's you know, a snap down, a shuck, your single leg, your high crotch, etc. So <clears throat> what I'm going to have uh, Zach do is you know, just, just be basically a, a normal opponent where he's in a good stance and position and he's going to force Zach to react to him. All right, and he's, you know, at first we're just going to hit a, a high single and we'll do it in slow motion um, at first just so you guys, you know, get the understanding of what you're going to do. And li like any video I'm sure you've seen before, coaches talk about head up, back straight. So when you're hitting your single legs, um, you're running up and into them. So you're always going to keep yourself in good position and prevent the reshot and prevent giving up uh, go behinds. All right, so I Isaiah's going to. You know, just get his motion moving from the outside a little bit. He's going to get him reacting. He's moving. And then when he goes, he's going to hit his, you know, hit his knee and he's going to run up. Now, originally, I want kids to understand is we are trying to get this single leg. All right. He, when he runs up, he wants to lock his hands here, get that single leg and finish our takedown. But as the level of competition gets higher, all right, they're going to react. They're going to react hard to it. So when he drives up and through him, he's going to end up in an underhook position. All right, this is a great way of setting it up because the thing is, is if even he doesn't get to it, and let's say Zach is backing out, Isaiah, if he, if he keeps his movement, he can pull that trigger five, six times until he gets to this position. You know, he can snap off of it and he'll find, eventually he'll get to this position. This is one of my favorite uh, ways of getting there.